Will creatine make you fat? Bloating, acne, hair loss? If the creatine is there, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> What's good dolls? Welcome back. It's your girl Kayla Lachey. Today we are going to be talking about creatine. My favorite thing ever when it comes to being a fit girl and I guess a lot of people have interest in creatine because my last video that I did about eight months ago just talking about my initial journey starting creatine has 337,000 views. And still to this day, I get asked a ton of questions. I try my best to go and respond to those still. And I feel like I'm getting a lot of the same questions. So I figured I would come back and do an update since I've been on creatine for about one year now, which seems like this time has gone by so fast. So I want to be able to answer your frequently asked questions, touch on my experience going on creatine one year later, any symptoms or side effects like bloating acne hair loss we're gonna get into that today you guys so thank you so much for stopping by first of all I want to say thank you for watching my creatine video I like to have helpful knowledgeable videos especially ones that document my own journey in a personal way because it's one thing to just talk about a supplement and see the benefits on a Google search but when you actually watch someone that takes it and is able to share their journey on it I think that means a lot more so definitely check out the description box for any helpful information on this video today I will link my original video because I'm not going to be going over the same details kind of repetitive when I feel like I went in a lot of detail in that video so the creatine first of all that I have been taking on my creatine journey for about a year is the EHP labs crea 8 this is what it looks like I'll pop it in the description box so you guys can check it out and read more about it on your own and you can use my code K10 at checkout to save if you guys are interested this is a hundred servings of creatine so during this time I feel like I got the most bang for my buck because I get a lot of uses and I take this stuff every single day also why I love this creatine is it is a hundred percent pure monohydrate creatine that means no fillers no additives no stimulants nothing so it is the best creatine that I've taken on my journey and I've had some really bad experiences as you guys have seen with other brands on my YouTube channel so I've stuck with this one because if it's not broke don't fix it so let me just talk about where I started on my journey of fitness okay so you guys could see what I was not working with so a before of my body and then I'll show you a current photo of today after my workout, what I'm looking like. So that's just a quick side-by-side -side comparison of life without creatine versus life with creatine and how much better life is with creatine. I'm obsessed. I think it is literally my favorite supplement that I have on my supplement routine because I feel my best. What is creatine? I know I touched on this. That was like the first thing I freaking touched on in my initial video, but there's always going to be some people that are going to comment things that we already touched on. But for those of the girlies or the guys watching, if you don't know what creatine is, it's a powder supplement. Okay. I definitely need to get a new tub because your girl's going through it. Creatine is a supplement that pulls water into our muscles, giving the appearance of more muscle mass. Just basically think of it as making your muscles look more juicy and plump and full, right? We work out hard in the gym. I know I want people to see that I go to the gym and that I work out hard. So it just accentuates the muscles that we've built. It also helps with recovery and giving you more strength and power in the gym. So for me personally, I know that it helps me lift heavy. It helps me really hit my goals when it comes to progressive overload, which is what you want to be doing if you want to gain muscle mass. So if that's something that you're interested in, highly recommend you do more research on creatine and see if it's something that you want to start taking and implementing in your own routine because this is my baby for real, you guys. I love this stuff. So that's just essentially what it does. So some questions that I got asked quite a bit is, will creatine make you fat? 
no <laughs> it cannot make you fat because there's no calories in this zero calories you guys so the only way to get fat is to eat in a surplus so that's not possible with this will it make you weigh more on this scale possibly because your body is retaining a lot of water and holding it in your muscles so it's not going to make you look fat because it's going in your muscles if anything it's going to make you look more toned in my experience so yeah it can't make you fat because there's no calories in this stuff so hopefully that gives you guys a little insight on that because that was a very 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 popular question that i had received what happens if you don't take creatine every single day nothing really i have definitely been inconsistent at times during this one year period whether i was on vacation or I kind of fell off on my fitness journey for like a week or so nothing really happened because it was already in my body i was taking it consistently prior to falling off and it really does take some time to deplete your system so you're really not going to notice a significant difference unless you stop taking it for i would say like a month and then some but even then i think it's healthy to kind of cycle off i've cycled off of creatine i think one time and then i cycled back on to it in my journey and it was perfectly fine nothing really happened because you're still building muscle in the gym especially if you're actively working out and lifting weights it's not like you're gonna lose your muscle because the muscle that you've built is the muscle that you have the only thing different is the water being pulled into it that's just making it look a little bit more full so you're still gonna have your muscle, if that makes sense. Also got a lot of questions of the girlies asking, and the guys, if you can mix creatine with other things or can you only have it by itself? A lot of people wanted to know, can you mix it with the Oxy Shred that I take, which is my pre-workout? Absolutely, these are stackable. There's no stimulants in this, there's no caffeine in this. So you can really mix it in whatever you want to. As long as you're taking it, just take it. I think a lot of girls, or people tend to overthink creatine and they think they have to do it this cookie cutter way and that's the only way they're gonna get results and look like the girls on TikTok when that's not the case. You're just overthinking it. Just take the creatine and keep it moving. Like it's really not that big of a deal. So I will have this with just water on some days when I just wanna get it in and not forget about it because it's super smooth. There's no taste, there's no smell, no greediness. It's just amazing. If I just close my eyes and take this with water, it tastes like water like it really is easy to take you can also mix it in with your blessed protein shakes which is what i do if i'm having one i put it in my oxy green smoothies if i'm having that at the moment i'll put it in my oxy shred pre-workout cocktail if i'm having that like for me personally it doesn't matter as long as i get it in i don't overthink it or do too much so just take it I also got people asking, do you need to take it at the same time every day to get results? Personally, like I just said, as long as you're taking it every day, it's going to be in your system every day. Like it really isn't that deep. But if you feel like you need to take it at 12 o'clock every single day, then you do that. I feel like that's doing too much. That's stressing me out and making the journey more complicated than what it really needs to be. But to each its own for me on this year of a journey... I take it whenever I feel like taking it before bed if I want to. Like I said, there's no caffeine. It's not like it's going to keep me up at night. I'll take it before the gym, after the gym, in the morning, whatever. As long as I take it, that's all that matters. <laughs> Have you experienced bloating, hair loss, or acne? No. Um, Acne, no. I think my skin, look at my skin. I think my skin honestly got better. Okay, my skin, I used to have terrible skin let me let me put a picture of what my skin was looking like and what it looks like obviously today I had terrible acne before I started creatine and I truly believe that it just improved my life my hair uh didn't have any hair loss my hair actually grew <laughs> so we love that for us and then as far as the bloating I was only bloated in the beginning of my creatine journey like right literally right when I just started taking it like the first month because I didn't understand that you need to drink a lot of water you need to drink a lot of water I'm talking about a gallon of water a day baby because your body is pulling all the water that it has into our muscles because that's what creatine is supposed to do so what do you think is going to happen if you are thirsty your body's going to go into this 
oh my gosh, I'm freaking out right now. I'm dehydrated, so let me react by being bloated so I can try to retain some of this water that I have in my system because it doesn't know when it's going to get any water anytime soon. So that's the only reason why I experienced bloating in the beginning. After that, and I realized I need to be drinking more water, especially on top of my workouts, <laughs> especially on a leg day because I will go through half a gallon in the gym alone then I was perfectly fine. So if you have bloating or you're worried about being bloated on creatine and that might be stopping you, don't let it stop you. Just drink more water. And I also got people asking, how much water do you drink? I can't really tell you that. Just keep drinking water because you don't want to be thirsty. Everyone's different. I would just say around a gallon. That's just what I personally aim for every single day. But don't have just like 16 ounces of water and think that's enough because you are used to drinking one glass a day like no baby You need to be drinking a lot of water and if you're not drinking a lot of water It's a waste to take creatine because you're not getting its potential Does that make sense like you want to be drinking a lot of water so it can go to your muscles? Otherwise, it's not gonna have any water in your body to go to the muscles so hopefully that gives you a little bit more Insight on that topic and my own experience. I don't get bloated. I'm on creatine Okay, my stomach's pretty flat. Don't we love that? Because nobody has time to be bloated, you guys. I know how uncomfortable it can be as a woman, okay? <laughs> Is creatine good if you are on a weight loss journey? Absolutely. Like, creatine is probably the most universal supplement that I think you can take next to a protein powder. If you want to lose weight, Creatine, like I said, has no calories, so it's not going to make you gain fat. And like I said, I don't think it will make you look fat because it's just going to accentuate the muscles that you have, your muscle mass. So if that is your goal to be more toned and to have nice muscles, have a nice little shape on you, a nice little cute juicy booty, then I highly recommend creatine just as much as I would recommend it to anybody that is trying to bulk or just simply gain muscle or even do a body recomp. It really just depends on your goals. I also along that got asked if I would recommend creatine if you don't really work out. Um, I don't really know how to answer that because I work out all the time so I don't really know what creatine would do if I didn't work out. However, when I took a month period of time out of the gym, I was still taking creatine every single day. And because of that, I felt like I still looked like I went to the gym and just got a nice booty pump. So for me on my off month, <laughs> my rest month, if you will, like I looked great and I felt good. I didn't feel like I lost any muscle, if that made any sense. But if you are like a newbie, and you're just starting out in the gym, like you're starting a routine, I definitely recommend creatine if you want to get into it. It's not gonna hurt your journey or anything. And if you simply just don't work out <laughs> like at all and you're not trying to get a journey but you wanna take creatine, I don't know if I can honestly recommend that to you. I'm just being honest. Like if you have no interest to work out or lift weight or build muscle, I'm not going to tell you, yes, get this, because I don't really see a purpose in that personally. But if you are starting a journey and you're really like trying to get into it, baby, yes, get some creatine. You will be obsessed with it. Will you be taking creatine forever? No, baby, no. The point here for me on my journey is to be stronger and have like my most potential when it comes to lifting weights so i know that creatine allows me to have my three leg days a week and lift heavy and really just have that power behind my lifts like i'm able to lift what i think is heavy that is all relative to everybody else and where they're at in their journeys but i can hip thrust almost 400 pounds and I think that is absolutely incredible. It really does able me to hit those PRs and continue to up my weight every two weeks or so. And that makes me feel like a boss. That makes me feel so strong in the gym. And I definitely recommend creatine for those of you that are looking to really progress with your weights. Doing more sets, doing more reps, and really just pushing yourself. And if you need that push, creatine. Not only that, aesthetically, yes, I feel my best when I'm on creatine and I get a nice leg day in and that pump go crazy. I will say the glutes be swole, like they are at their max. If you have like 
all your water intake in the day. You had a really good leg day session. You got your creatine in your body. Maybe you got the pump from the pre-workout. The pump go crazy. And it just looks amazing like it looks so good and that alone is the motivation for me to be like bet i'm going back to the gym tomorrow and we're gonna hit upper body we're gonna kill it because we're gonna look insane like let yourself be your own motivation and find tools that help you get there and for me it's supplements they're not necessary but for me personally if the creatine is there i'm gonna take it <laughs> And that's that on the creatine. Those are all the frequently asked questions that I got from my initial video. So I will link you guys to that in the cards if you want to go back and just know the basics of creatine and the beginning of my journey and all of those types of details, then by all means go watch that and do your own research. Like that's what I did. I did my own research before I got on creatine and had to decide for myself if it's something that I wanted to go on. I don't have any side effects and the only side effect is when I look in the mirror, I can't stop looking at myself in the mirror <laughs> because the pump is insane. Like, I want to cry. It's so good. So if you guys are interested in checking out the EHP Labs Crea 8, definitely do. And if you want to save some money, use my code K10 at checkout and thank me later because you will notice results, I would say, within a month of time. So that's that you guys. Subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video. I do a lot of fitness content, fitness vlogs on my channel. Don't forget to thumbs up. It lets me know that you like educational style videos like this. And let me know in the comments below, do you guys see a creatine? Because I'm curious to know. Mm -hmm.